So last but not, certainly not least, um, the third uh, red wine varietal that we will be talking about is Pinot Noir. And as I mentioned in the um, Merlot um, lecture, so Pinot Noir, I mean, it's always been around, but it's certainly got an uptick in um, in um, kind of this, this advertisement through that movie Sideways. And um, while it's quite funny, it has lasted because it actually is very, very good. Um, it is quite tricky though. So this is the hardest and the most difficult wine or I'm sorry, varietal to grow out of any varietals out there. It is truly, truly um, kind of, it's either a blessing or a curse for a winemaker, depending on what happens in the winery. So the major reason for this is this has the thinnest skin. So unlike Cabernet, which we know has thick, thick skin and can go through anything, Literally, this little grapes or these grapes, oh my gosh, they are such trouble for the winemaker. They are susceptible to basically anything, okay? So this is like, you know, if it's too hot, oh, they will dry up. If it's too cold, they will freeze. Um, if there is a bug in the air, literally, which we'll talk about in a little bit, this will get it, okay? So that it is so difficult to create a really, really fantastic uh, Pinot Noir. And this is also, I think you've heard me say before in lecture, it's really, really extremely hard to have a very, very good Pinot Noir um, under, I would say, $25. And I think even in that $25 range, you're, mm, it's kind of tricky. But if, if you see anybody and they pick up a bottle of Pinot Noir and it was $6.99, don't touch that bottle, okay? It's not going to be good. Uh, it's, I can guarantee you that it will not be good. Um, and the reason for that, like I said, because it is so difficult to grow that the conditions need to be perfect. Um, so the actual, um, the, the actual uh, winemakers, um, the ones that are making the really good ones, they can't produce a lot um, because it's, it's just not possible. All right, so different things that they need as far as uh, the physical characteristics. So there's a specific soil they're looking for. They really do like limestone. Um, they do really well in that, maybe clay, because the big thing with them is, you know, remember, they're difficult. So it can't be too wet. It can't be too dry. It can't be, you know, they, they just need the perfect conditions, which we know uh, we do not live in a perfect world. So that's why it's very difficult. Um there's a disease that they're really susceptible uh, to, and that's called Pierce's disease. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. The other thing that's really tricky about these um, vines is that they really have a short lifespan. They only live for about 40 to 45 years, so which in a lifespan of a winery is nothing. So literally, they only produce for a very short period of time. So winemakers constantly need to be planting new Pinot Noir vines, taking out the old ones. It's just a very, very difficult grape. It's like a teenager. I think that's what it is. It's kind of like a, a teenager of wines. All right, so um, we talked about, or I mentioned before, Pierce's disease. So Pierce's disease, basically this is a bacterial infection which is actually spread by bugs. And what they do is they actually feed on the leaves uh, of grape, grapevines. And they literally, what they do is, if you can see in the picture, um, they, they, you know, the, the leaves start dying on the outside. And uh, very, very quickly, if the, if Pierce's disease develops in your vineyard, I mean, it is, it's really, really difficult to treat. So, um, once again, then, then we can spray them and we can do a lot of different things. But once again, then we take the organic label up and people don't like them to be sprayed. So once again, uh, we have to be really, really careful. But Pierce's disease is uh, a big, big um, enemy of uh, Pinot Noir. All right. Um, where does it grow? So um, it does not grow in Bordeaux. So if somebody tells you that they think they're drinking Pinot Noir from, from Bordeaux, uh, they are wrong, okay? Because it's not allowed to be grown in Bordeaux. So um, it actually grows in Burgundy and in Champagne. Now, that might be interesting, but um, you will see that Pinot Noir is actually one of the three grapes used in the production of Champagne. So we'll talk about that later. Um, but basically, it is um, in France, that's where it's grown. Um, and in uh, North America, you know, uh, it does fairly well um, in certain parts of California, but it actually, uh, most of California is actually too warm for Pinot Noirs. So um, it has done really, really, really well in Washington State, in Oregon, and actually, I mean, some phenomenal Pinot Noirs are coming out of um, the uh, kind of like upstate New York. So uh, kind of like those Finger Lake regions right in there. So that that's really an effect. Um, global warming has had a huge effect on the California region, 
especially when it comes to Pinot Noirs. So we have needed to move that production a little bit higher. So that's why Washington State, Oregon, um, those are doing really, really well because it does, it does, you know, the, the, the sun does not affect it um, very well. So mentioned before, it's called the Holy Grail um, of, of uh, winemaking for winemakers because it's so difficult. Um, it really needs extra care from uh, the beginning to the end. Um, even when it's aging, you know, uh, we put it into a barrel, but it has to be an older barrel and it can't be, you know, we don't want too much oak and it doesn't want too little oak. It wants just the perfect amount. So um, all of those things are, are kind of uh, make it a little bit difficult. It is definitely a lighter in color. It almost is that this one I think it does have like a rubish um it almost has like a like a like a brick red brick red uh, and a darker brick red that's kind of what it looks like um as far as the uh, color of it it can be refreshing uh to have a nice pinot noir you know it's 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 really um once you have a good one you have a good one um they are light they are not very acidic um they are just they have these amazing complex uh flavors that are are, are, are pretty uh pretty awesome um they are they have a little bit more of an earthiness to them so when you think about think of like um if you step into a forest kind of like that well sometimes a little bit of a pine tree um kind of like mushrooms mushroomy um earthy uh kind of in that sense rosemary thyme think very very think like herbs so if that's something that you like more so than the berries um that's kind of that will that will pair very well um and like i said this is something that's a little bit lighter so to pair a pinot noir with like like a New York strip with caber, you know, like like a red sauce or red peppercorn sauce or anything, it wouldn't really work well. It, it would kind of get lost. Um, it pairs really well with pork. So uh, pork is kind of anytime you serve pork, it doesn't matter. A nice Pinot Noir that will really really um, highlight it. Um, and uh, it's definitely something where if you're looking for um, a less complex wine. Um, to for your palate less you know it's not as strong but as far as the flavors um this is your this is your to go to wine